Theme nights are back for Friday Night Sports Extra. Welcome to Christmas in September. First day of fall, we wanted to jump across to winter. It's nice and warm in here. We're enjoying some gifts, and I think most of the gifts are in, in the form of highlights tonight, right, Jay? We start with Yoko Ono. This is Christmas. And we're singing karaoke as well. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't know, know we that had eggnog was going around before the show. <laughs> I'm but. loving it. Can we get a look at yeah. the set, by I'm the way? Sorry. This Lots is fantastic. Darren, Rachel, Caroline on the set decoration today. We brought my cousin in as well, the penguin. <laughs> this is amazing. And th uh, these are really our lockers wrapped up in wrapping paper. Pretty cool. Wow. Fantastic. And we all got a present, too, which it's is great. My present, I, my, well, I guess we have to wait till the end I'm of the show. I'm told we have to wait. Yeah, and we, uh -huh. as a present to Alyssa, we sent her to Angel Liam for a game that didn't happen today. So <laughs> I was lucky. More like a lump of coal, I think, right? You know, I'm always game for a road trip. Always game for a road trip. <laughs> for, I'm, I was just glad it wasn't hailing. We like got to, well, that's true. She got, to, she got to hit the ferry, too, for the first time. So that was kind of cool. Beautiful. You know, what? Let's get to some highlights. We're going to have a little Christmas theme tonight. Jump out to Joe Albee Stadium tonight. Big matchup between Gonzaga Prep and Mount Spokane. Opening drive for Mount Spokane down to the one. Jagger Jacoby, guy with two last names, going to punch it in. Wildcats up seven. Oh, but the dreaded ensuing kickoff. Devin Culp takes up the seam and he's up on the rooftop. Click, click, click. Not going to stop till he's in four, six. Nice job by Culp into the end zone. 98 yard touchdown scamper. It's tied at seven. How about more Gonzaga prep? This time it's Casey Anthony breaks a tackle, bounces it to the outside after he breaks two tackles, and he's going to scoot into the end zone. Bull pops up seven. Wildcats not going away. Jacob Adams up the middle. They tie it back up. But Prep's going to retake the lead, this time through the air. Connor Hallinan up top to Sam Lockett, flying through the air like Rudolph. What a catch for him. Prep goes on to win it. At Albie, 42-28. to 28. How about the early game between U High and LC? The big offensive line for U High just pushing people around. Terrell Sanders looking like Dion into the end zone. U High up by six. Tigers trying to answer, but there's a fumble. Chris Taylor scoops, and he's headed to the land of Misfit Toys. Tightens up a couple of scores in this game, and they get some more on the ground from Sanders again behind that offensive line. U High building a pretty big lead. Tigers get a field goal, but here we go again. Dreaded ensuing kickoff. There's our boy Taylor. He could fit Santa's sleigh through that hole, heading back to say hi to the Charlie in the box. 85 yards on a touchdown return. Kickoff returns everywhere. Special teams coaches rejoice. U High wins this one 49 to 10. Guys, full disclosure, I have something to admit. I've lived in Spokane on and off now for about five years, and tonight I actually got lost in Spokane Valley. It's 2017 with GPS and cell phones. I actually got lost, but I did not stop believing. Maybe sometime today I have time to tell you the story. It is not now. We got some football to talk about. North Central taking on Central Valley tonight. How about those Bears? Search shirts are optional. Second quarter, Bears up 21. Grant Ho Ho Honan finds Austin Tomlinson for the touchdown. Bears go up 28 nothing. Hey, what's Rudolph's favorite play? It's the hoof and ladder, guys. <laughs> Here we have the Indians going with the play action psych. By the way, I'm bringing psych back. Steven Albury makes it look easy there. Do you spell psych with a P? That's what I was running when I was writing this shot sheet. And Suin Bear's position, it's the low snap. Shades of the uh, flick six from last week, guys. And Brian Munro makes the Christmas miracle happen for the Bears. They hang on to win barely by a count of 41 to seven. Well, up until today's beautiful weather, it felt like this Christmas theme was a real thing. The weather earlier on this week, dreary, hail, rain, we faced it all, but it is not quite there yet. Um, we had a great game last night, chilly night out at Joe Albee Stadium, Mead and Spokane, or Mead and Shadow Park last night. All Panthers in this one. Ryan Chan had five touchdown passes. This was not one of them. Instead, he shows off the wheels, winding his way into the end zone to take a 14-0 lead. Later on in the half, it's more from Chan. This time, he slings it, finds Jonathan Bairdis, number seven, who turns it into six. Mead goes on to win this one, 63-13. to and right next up, right after them was Ferris and Rogers. It was a nightcap. Pick it up in the first half. Saxons on the move. Specifically, Nate Schlosser from 25 yards out puts Ferris up 7-0. But Rogers, they're not done yet. They're going to respond. Trey Phillips, nothing going. So he bounces outside. That'll work. Phillips promised right to the promised land as Rogers stuns Ferris at Joe Alby. Their first win in 20 years against the Saxons. 14-10, the final.
We're going to peel back the curtain for you a bit. When we go out for these games, we never know really how they're going to turn out. So you just throw a dart, pick one. Hopefully <laughs> you go to the right one first. Tonight, your boy threw a dart and it was nowhere near the board whatsoever. Let's go to the game I should have gone to first, but didn't. This was Post Falls in Lakeland. Our guy was loving KXY. I had to put him on. This is the quarterback, Nate Boer, just taking a nice stroll. Eventually turns on the gas in for six. This made the score 53 to seven. But Lakeland would fight their way into the end zone. Big old pile. Someone scored. Not quite sure who. This was not close, as you can imagine, the final score from Post Falls, 53 to 13. But the game I chose to go to first was this one. East Valley visiting Lake City. LC lining up for three. Instead, it's blocked. Everybody just hanging out, watching the ball lay on the ground. Talon Watson, all about the free gifts, takes it the other way. Coach Fisher loving it. A free six points for East Valley. They'd tack on two, make it eight nothing. Later in the half, Knights on the move, looking for WSU commit. Roderick Fisher, normally a good idea, but not here. Picked off by Travis Jerome. Two first names, one interception. Lake City keeps East Valley off the scoreboard momentarily. Winning moments of the second. Isaiah Irvin to the paint. Knights go up two scores, but they would lose down the stretch. Lake City pulls this one out at home, 24 to 20. Sorry about that, Will. I thought your KXLY career was already over. Much has been made about my back problems here at KXLY. Unfortunately, these are prescriptions, so it works well with the theme tonight. But enough about me. Let's talk more high school football. It's North Central taking on Central Valley tonight. It's homecoming for, uh, I'm sorry, make that a West Central. And here is Matt Allen connecting with Connor. Don't call me Comet Whitney. Get that? That's the reindeer, not the dog from Full House. He'll prance through the end zone. West Valley goes up 34-3. Closing minutes of the third. West Valley up 35-9. Colin Sather looking to get on the nice list. He's going to be stopped just short of the North Pylon. See what I did there? It's okay if you didn't. A couple of plays later, West Valley goes with the old quizzle, bizzle, snizzle, which is good for sizzle. Matt Allen gets the tug. His team gets the win by a count of 49 to 15. If you're just joining us, we don't have a theme tonight. We apologize. Next time I get slap the team, we got more highlights coming up on Christmas in September after the break. Happy